So let's say I'm done cooking uh, by setting the probe temperature to whatever temperature and I'm, I'm finished cooking. At the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm ready to turn the machine off and run through the cleaning cycle. I can press the off button. I can choose to just turn the machine off to save power. Or I can choose manual clean, uh, which is you're manually spraying in the detergent. Or I can use the auto clean function. And the auto clean function will pull the detergent automatically through a, uh, its pump system. And uh, you can choose the level of cleaning from zero, which is no detergent, up to level eight, which takes uh, an hour and 29 minutes. Typically, most of the cleaning, if they're um, cleaning daily, is fine with a level zero or level one. If you're doing a lot of protein products, you made a lot of uh, grease in the oven, then you probably need a level two or a level three, depending on what type of chemical you're using. You can also do a quick rinse. So. I'll press the start button. Notice the machine is going to do one thing which is very important. So I've just finished cooking at a high temperature. The machine is controlling the temperature drop instead of the operator opening the door and spraying the inside of the oven with a spray hose. Because we all know what happens to create the steam. Well now I'm spraying a spray hose in a very, very hot oven. That steam's got to go somewhere. It can come back out at you. So as we have a wash arm built into the top of the oven that when it finally does get to the temperature the washing function will work um, automatically. So, have you guys seen or heard about the uh, the barcode scanner capability of the machine? Like from the fridge. I'm at my workstation. I just set it all down. Oh, I need to set the oven to this temperature. Oh, I need to cook this product next. So you're getting the product ready. But well, at the same time, you can um, you know scan the barcode. So I just scan grilled cheese barcode off the sheet of paper. Now, I'm, as I'm preparing the product, the oven already went to the recipe that's stored in the unique two-dimensional barcode. So this is the recipe. This machine has never ever seen that recipe on the machine before. I just scanned this barcode. So you could have as many recipes you could ever create as a barcode and that recipe can then be sent to the machine. Now this method does also something that uh, the operator doesn't have to worry about too is preheat or pre-cool. So um, right now it's going through the process of preheating. So if I check the temperature, 362, 363, 364, so here in a few seconds it'll beep and it'll flash its lights saying the oven's ready. So as I finish preparing my grilled cheese as an example, now it's time to load the product because the oven's beeping at me and flashing the lights saying it's preheated. I put the product in, I shut the door, and the timer starts automatically. So what I've done basically is I've eliminated, you know, all of the controls and just given the operator what they really want, which is just the start button. So I've eliminated all the complexity, all the reasons why everybody wants a combi, but that fear factor still remains, you know, how do you use the combi? Well, just press the start button or just scan a barcode, you know, it's pretty simple when you think of it that way. And what allows the operator? The, the kitchen staff to do is they could have a booklet of all their products. I've seen some of the schools um, even put pictures next to the barcode so they've eliminated this portion of the instructions and they just have the barcode with a picture of the product for the language scenario. One of these sheets of paper is, even has the uh, the cleaning barcodes. Yeah, so the cleaning barcodes. So let's say I'm done cooking. I can scan the barcode for the cleaning and it'll run through the cleaning cycle automatically also do a uh, rinse. So now it's going to cool the machine down and run through a rinse cycle. So you could be basically at your station and use the machine all up to the point of pulling the product in and out of the machine. Kind of nice little feature.